Hello everyone. So in this video, I am going to tell you about few resources which I actually used and that landed me to a fang company. So I actually prepared for this six interviews: coding interview, system design interview, object oriented design interview, schema design interview, API design interview, and behavioral interview. So let's look ahead and see some of the resources which I used for all these interviews. So friends, before we start, in case if you are new to my channel, then please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so that you never miss any update. So first we will see what resources I used for the coding interview. So the first resource which I used was Lead Code Medium Level Problems. I actually solved more than 250 plus problems which actually cover different topics. So if I go to Lead Code, so here you can see that this is the link for the medium level problems. So you actually need to solve more than 250 plus problems which actually covers different topics. So this was the first resource which I used to prepare for the coding interview. And in case if you are not sure which questions to prepare from lead code, I have also created an XLS which has the top or most important 500 lead code questions. So if I show you, so this is the XLS which actually contains the list of top 500 questions. So you can also prepare from this list. And in case if you want to see how to use this XLS, I have also created a video on YouTube how to crack the coding interview. So you can watch this video. Here I have shared some of the tips and tricks which I used for the coding interview. And let's say if your interview is scheduled at a very near date, then you can also look for Algo Experts 169 questions. So these 169 questions will help you prepare fast for your interviews. So if I go to Algo Expert, here you can see that there are 169 questions which are easy, medium, hard and very hard. So you can go over these questions and prepare for your coding interview. And the fourth thing which I did was, I actually created one DSA playlist. So in order to revise the DSA concepts, I simply watched that playlist again. So this is the playlist which I have created which has more than 220 plus videos and which covers the data structures and algorithms in Java. So you can watch this playlist as well. And some of the important DSA topics which you need to prepare are array, binary search, sliding window, matrix, two pointer, intervals, hash map, string, recursion, DP, trees, graph, linked list, stack, queues and heap. So these were the resources which I used for the coding interview. Now let's see what resources I used for the system design interview. So the first resource which I use is a course on educative which is groking the system design interview. Now this course has step by step discussion on the system design and has good case studies. So here you can see this is the course on educative groking the system design interview. And here you can see it has various good case studies on different topics which are mostly asked in the system design interview. And it also covers some of the high level concepts which are used in the system design interview. So this is a very excellent course which can help you prepare for your system design interviews and it will guide you with all these case studies step by step. So you can enroll for this course. The second resource which I used is LXU's system design interview course on Byte Byte Go. Now this course covers all the content from its famous book volume 1 and volume 2. So if I go to Byte Byte Go, so here you can see that there are so many case studies which is pretty much in depth and which can actually help you in prepare for your system design interviews. So this was one such resource which actually helped me a lot. The third resource which I used were system experts videos. Now that videos actually showed how the real life system design interviews go. So if I go to system expert, so here you can see there are 13 case studies here and if I open one such case study. So here you can see it covers every aspect of a system design interview. The one thing which I liked was video solutions. So here if you watch this video, you will actually find how real life system design interview goes. So this is also one such helpful resource for the system design interview preparation. So these were some of the resources which I used for the system design interviews. Now let's see what resources I used for the object oriented design interview. So here I use only one such resource which is enrolling into groking the object oriented design interview course. Now this course has very detailed 
and step by step approach to various object oriented design case studies and this course is also part of educative so if i go to this course so here in this course you can find various case studies so if i look into one such case study you can see it has pretty much detailed and step by step guidance so one is what could be the system requirements for any particular system which is given to you in interview you can find the use case diagrams the class diagram and the thing which actually helped is the design of this classes so this course is very helpful it will make you understand how various systems are designed at an object level it also has some additional content which will help you to know about the uml and the various types of diagrams which are shown in each case studies so you can look for class diagrams activity diagrams and the actual code for a particular system which you want to design so this course is pretty much enough to crack the object oriented design interview so the next thing we will look into is api design interview so the first three resources are from microsoft that they follow for the api design which is the best practices implementation and the guidelines so if i go to this three links so here you can see for the best practices the actual implementation and some of the guidelines which they share so here you will find what are the best practices for the api design it is very detailed and let you know about that how to structure a particular api and it also gives what are the good and the bad examples and what things to avoid so you can go over this best practices link to understand more about how to design apis with this different methods like get post put patch and delete in this step there is a detailed implementation of all these methods so you can go over this and in the guidelines they actually tell you about the different types of things that you can do with the api like filtering pagination and all those things which are actually required for a good api so these were the resources from the microsoft and if you want to actually see some of the real life examples you can go over stripe or twitter's api documentation so here you will see that for the stripe api it's very detailed documentation that what's the base url and what are different api so if i go down if i look for the products so here you will find that how they are using the different types of apis for let's say different type of use cases like products prices coupons and here are list of the apis which they are using like how we can create a product retrieve a product update a product delete a product list all products and search for a product so if i go to any of this stuff here it's very detailed one so you can go over this stripe api documentation to understand more how a good api is designed and similarly with the twitter so it also has very detailed the api reference index where you can find a lot of apis and how they are designed so let's say if you want to manage tweets if i go to this post request so here you will find a very detailed description of what this api does that's a post api it actually creates a tweet and this is the endpoint url and and all the things which are required for a tweet to be created so the stripe api documentation and twitter api documentation actually helped me in understanding how a good api is designed so this is also a very good resource and the last resource is system experts case studies that this system expert if i go here it also has the case studies for the actual system design but it also has some of the case studies for the actual api design so like reddit api uber api twitch api so you can go over this case studies it will actually help you a lot moving ahead for the schema design interview i actually used the resource which i already discussed about the object oriented design interview so for the schema design you can take the case studies of this course groking the object oriented design interview take those case studies and try to apply the object to relational mapping and that will actually help you to design the schema so if i go to the course so here you can see let's say this is the object oriented design so you can take the same thing as tables and it also has relationship with each other you can make the relationship between different tables using the foreign key for let's say one to many relationships and you can also introduce a table for many to many relationships so you have to take this object oriented design and convert it into a schema level design 
and that will actually help you to understand about the object oriented stuff as well as how the schema is designed so this course actually helped me in preparing object oriented design interview and schema design interview so the last interview which i prepared was behavioral interview so the resources which i used the first one was i actually watched jeff s saif youtube channel so if i go to his channel so here in his youtube channel if i go to videos you will actually find that he has covered a lot of good behavioral questions which you can watch and understand that how we can approach the behavioral interview questions so this is a very good resource for behavioral questions the second resource which i used for the behavior questions were from the interview kickstart website it actually has a dedicated content for behavioral interview questions so here you will find a lot of questions which are actually asked in a behavioral interview so you can go over this and try to understand what the question ask and you can prepare your stories around these interview questions so friends this was all about the resources which i used for all these six type of interviews i will share this slide in the description of this video so that you can refer it for your preparation i hope you must have liked this video in case if you are new to my channel then please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so that you never miss any update thanks have a nice day